when the music comes on and you close your eyes and you tell yourself, I built the design and built these speakers, built the room, the help of my family, music could never sound this good any other way. It took years and years to build all of this, thousands of hours to build the speakers. So it's been 25, 30 years from the beginning of the room until it's finished now. I have not seen any commercially built system that approaches this size, weight, etc. The design of the room is such that there are virtually no parallel surfaces. The ceiling was patterned after a concert hall in Osaka, Japan. So being able to design a system with no holds barred was great. First of all, the, the loudspeakers are 1,400 pounds a piece, nine foot six, uh, three-way line arrays, three of them in the front for home theater. It's beautiful, and the nice thing about it is the sound doesn't, it is not restrained by the room at all. And of course, the, the mid-range planers, they're 50 inches, so they're two stacked, too high. Uh, the uh, electronics are all from Krell Industries. Beautiful equipment, runs forever. Uh, the amplification is all Krell, a uh, dozen Krell amplifiers in the system. The crossovers for the three front channels are all Krell uh, KBX active crossovers. The turntable uh, is one that I built. Uh, I started building about 14 years ago. The table itself is 1,500 pounds and sits on a uh, minus K vibration platform that I had to make for me. Minus K produces and have a vibration platforms for electron scanning microscopes, etc. And um, they will isolate down to a half hertz vertically and horizontally. So when I decided to build this table, um, I called him and I said, I'd like you to make one for me. He said, we don't make them that big. Well, they did. They made me a custom one. And that's sitting directly underneath the, uh, the main table. And I know you can't see this, but it literally floats. Yeah. Yeah, I remember with your the Soto Sapphire turntable. I wasn't allowed to touch that as a kid. <laughs> None of us were. But I remember yeah. when Morris, when our cat jumped up on it. <laughs> you were playing a record. I don't remember what it was, but I remember the cat jumped up I and he just did the, ah, and landed right around the, right around the right. My first instinct was to go and grab that cat. And I thought, if I do that, I'm going to scare him. He's going to, he's going to scatter. He's going to damage the stylus. So I just went over and picked him up and set it down. It's just amazing uh, how somebody can build a turntable and suspend it in such a way that a cat can jump up on it and the thing doesn't skip a, you know, skip mm -hmm. a beat. It's just, it's just a nice design turntable. And that's why I use their, their platter here. I sent all the aluminum parts up to Krell Industries, had them brush them and anodize them in the same colors, the gray and the black, so they would match all my Krell equipment. And it's a nice touch. So it's a very unique turntable. The design was, I started 14 years ago and it sat for quite a while. But now it's finished. About the only thing I have left to do is connect up the, the air pumps for the uh, linear tracking arms, and it's ready to go. But of course, the days are coming to an end, so I can't keep uh, thinking, well, maybe I'll do it next year or the year after that. The future is now. About four or five months ago, I began noticing I was losing a little bit of dexterity and strength in my left hand. After about two months, it wasn't getting any better. So I went to my GP and um, he ran some tests and he said, uh, you probably have ALS. They told me that typically you'll have uh, two years, maybe two to five years, and it will get to the point where um, you'll, have, you'll be in a wheelchair and, and when I get to that point, I have no idea what I'll do. We put on Bridges of Madison County. We've seen that movie, I don't know how, how many times. At the end, it brings tears to my eyes, not because it's a different movie, but because I'm a different person viewing that movie. Everything seems to have more of an emotional connection to me than it ever did. All my kids. They all worked on, they all helped on this. I remember my two girls and myself, Patty and Rosemary, were up there putting the, the clapboard siding on the house. Kurt uh, helped me uh, cast this eight inch thick concrete floor. Just the two of us. Everything in this system is part of me. It was a fun, it was a fun journey. I'd hate like heck to see this room parted out. I, I, I wouldn't be happy doing that. For one thing, it'd be pretty hard to get rid of something like these loudspeakers. 
Uh, anybody that would have an interest in it would need a room as big as this. So I have, I have some time to look for uh, either someone or a group of people that can carry on with what I have here. But the time is, is here now to enjoy what, what I've been working for, spend time with my wife, with my kids, and uh, enjoy music in a way that I never did before. You know, I'm 76 years old. I've managed to accomplish just about all my goals. How many men live to 76? And those that do, how many can sit down and say, I've accomplished everything that I wanted to do. But now that I've reached the destination, the music is going to tell me every time I put it on, you didn't waste your time and money. You spent your time and money wisely. So enjoy it, and I will. I'm Ken Fritz, and I believe I built the best stereo system in the world.